Good day, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on Common Networking Protocols, Part 1. Today I'm going to briefly discuss TCP and UDP, and then I'm going to briefly run through some common ports and protocols. With that, let's go ahead and begin this session. Let's begin with a brief overview of TCP and UDP. Both Transmission Control Protocol and User Datagram Protocol are both Transport Layer or Layer 4 protocols. They're both responsible for the delivery of network data between nodes. While they are both Layer 4 protocols, they do have some differences. TCP uses a reliable delivery method. This ensures that all the packets that are sent are received. It uses acknowledgments as a means of error correction. TCP also establishes flow control to reduce the error rate and ensure proper delivery. On the other hand, UDP uses a best effort delivery method. It sends data but doesn't care if the packets are all received. There is no error correction, and with UDP, speed and low network overhead are the major concerns not the reliable delivery of the information. Now let's discuss some common ports and protocols. First up is HTTP, that's Hypertext Transfer Protocol. It's the primary protocol used to transfer data over the internet. It is assigned to port 80. Then there's HTTPS, which is Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. It is the primary protocol to securely transfer data over the internet using SSL or TLS technology. That's secure socket layer or transport layer security technology. In actuality, SSL should no longer be used. You should only be using TLS. By default, HTTPS is assigned to port 443. Then there's NetBIOS. That's Network Basic Input Output System. This was originally developed to allow hosts to be able to communicate with servers. By default, it's assigned to ports 137 through 139. Then we have SMTP, or Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. This is the protocol that's used to transfer email from a client to an email server or to transfer email between different email servers. By default, it's assigned to port 25. Post Office Protocol version 3, or POP3, is the protocol used by clients to retrieve email from servers. Once engaged, POP3 downloads all the messages from the servers. The user cannot access email messages until they have been downloaded by the POP3 protocol. POP3 is assigned to port 110. In contrast to POP3 is IMAP, that's Internet Message Access Protocol. It's a protocol used by clients to access email on email servers. Allows the client to administer and organize email on the server into folders without having to download it first. By default, IMAP is assigned to port 143. Next up is SIP, or Session Initiation Protocol. It's a protocol that is most commonly used to set up and tear down multimedia communication sessions, as in voice over IP. In a voice over IP session, SIP is used to establish and to terminate the session. Session initiation protocol is commonly assigned to either port 560 or to port 561. Often used in conjunction with session initiation protocol is RTP, that's Real-Time Transport Protocol. This is the protocol that is commonly used to format and deliver multimedia or streaming content. As an example, RTP handles the flow of packets in a voice over IP session after session initiation protocol has established the connection. RTP is commonly assigned to ports 5004 and to port 5005. Then there's Media Gateway Control Protocol, or MGCP. It's a protocol that defines a means of communication between a packet-switched network and a circuit-switched network, as in the PSTN. 
It can be used to set up and maintain and terminate calls between multiple endpoints, as in teleconferencing. It's commonly assigned to ports 2427 and or to port 2727. Last up, we have H323. This is a protocol that provides a standard for delivering video over IP networks. It defines how real-time audio, video, and data are to be transmitted. It provides signaling and bandwidth control. It's commonly assigned to port 1720. That concludes this session on Common Networking Protocols, Part 1. I did a brief summary of TCP and UDP, and then I briefly ran through some common ports and protocols. On behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session, and I hope you watch another one soon.